Hey everybody, it's Stanley here. They're making a movie in Monterey, California over the next three days called All the Old Knives, and it stars Chris Pine and Thandie Newton. Now I signed up to be an extra in this film, I filled out all the paperwork, I sent in pictures, I dotted all the I's, I crossed all the T's, and they never got back to me. They did not choose me. I guess I have a face for radio. But we're not gonna let that stop us. Let's go to Monterey and see if we can find out where they're filming this movie, and maybe, who knows, maybe we'll see Chris Pine, Maybe we'll see Fanny Newton. If anything, let's get a little behind the scenes action on how a movie is made. Let's go. In order to find where they're making this movie, we need to follow these yellow production signs. This one's codenamed Big Indie. Well, I found out where the crew parking is and where the base camp of all the production is. It's at Del Monte Mall in Monterey. This is where I would have gone if I was chosen as an extra. This is where I would have been catered I don't think they're doing any filming here at the mall. I'm gonna check around real quick. I think they're shuttling people over to Carmel. So I'm gonna check the mall real quick and then we'll go over to Carmel. I found it, they are filming at the mall. Let's watch them film a scene right now. These two right here are extras. And then notice this stage manager person? He gives the extras their cue on when to start walking in the background. These two guys right here are also extras. That could have been me. And then... Check it out. There she is. There's Thandie Newton, one of the main stars of this movie. Here's another angle of the end of that same scene. And as you can see, the rest of the crew is wearing masks and visors. They're being very careful. They don't want anybody on the production to get the coronavirus and shut down the movie. Also, they don't want anybody on the production to have a Tom Cruise style meltdown. We are not shutting this movie down! Well, they asked me to stop filming. So let's go get some lunch and then we'll come back and see if they're gonna move on to another location. Looks like they're just gonna be filming this same scene multiple times. So let's go to Carmel and see if there's a second unit possibly filming over there. Welcome to Carmel by the Sea. This is the setting of the book, All the Old Knives. Now right now they're filming in the neighboring town of Monterey, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna come to Carmel pretty soon and film a couple of scenes. Now I don't know when and I don't know where, so we gotta keep our eyes peeled. 
The beautiful little village of Carmel by the Sea is best known for art galleries, fine dining, jewelry, old people, and $100 mask finds. Yikes! Well, it looks like there's no movie making going on today. And believe me, I looked everywhere. And no sign of any celebrities besides the Fab Four. So, we'll just have to wait and come back tomorrow. Well, it's day two out here and the weather has really taken a turn for the worse. I'm gonna see if I can find out where the base camp is and hopefully the weather will clear up and they're gonna start filming again and hopefully we'll see Chris Pine today. Okay, I found the production. I don't know how I did it, but I found it. They're down here in Carmel by the Sea, and I believe this is gonna be the location where Chris Pine and Benny Newton have dinner, and where one of them is not gonna leave that dinner alive. That's the basic synopsis of All the Old Knives. Besides starring Chris Pine and Benny Newton, also acting in it are Jonathan Price and Lawrence Fishburne, probably best known as Cowboy Curtis. But they're not in Monterey or Carmel. Their scenes, I believe, are already shot in London. It's gonna take them quite a while to get everything set up. So I'm gonna go find some lunch, and I gotta find an umbrella also. Check this out, guys. They got a big camera car back there with a jib and a camera on it. That is so cool. I saw somebody carrying a bunch of those $100 fines for not wearing a mask signs, and now look at they're all gone. So I believe they're gonna film coming right down Ocean Avenue. I found a little secret spot up here overlooking the hotel or the restaurant Il Fortino. I'm so glad I found an umbrella. Us Californians, we're not really used to carrying umbrellas on us, but I found a little market that was selling them. And I'm gonna wait it out for a bit, and hopefully I do not get asked to leave. Okay, here come the extras, I believe. I believe these are the extras getting off the shuttle. So these two sitting here on the corner are extras at a wine bar. But once they start rolling, they have to take off their masks. Then all the tourists and locals have to leave Ocean Avenue. That was Chris Pine behind the wheel. We saw him. We got him on camera. We documented him. Okay, so I found out that that is not Chris Pine driving the car. That is Chris Pine's stunt double. You idiots! These are not them. You've captured their stunt doubles! Search the area. Find them! I confirmed that with two production people. And the girl said Chris Pine will not be here until tomorrow. So we'll come back tomorrow before I have to go to work and see if we can see Chris Pine and maybe Thandy Newton again. Well, day three, and there's still a lot of production people here, a lot of production crews, and I believe they're still setting up for some more scenes. I'm not quite sure. Thank you. 
Okay, get this. I might be in the movie after all. I got a tea right here at the Carmel Valley Coffee Roasting Company. And they're filming a scene right next to it. They let me stay here. But I could not film anything. But Chris Pine has been driving by with a camera crew right in front of his face. He's going up and down Ocean Avenue filming. All right, it looks like they're setting up for another scene on another street around here. So I'm gonna go around the block and around the back and see if I can see something better from the other angle. There's Chris Pine. Did you hear that? Okay, I found out that that guy is not Chris Pine. That is Chris Pine's stand-in. So, will the real Chris Pine please stand up? There he is. There's the real Chris Pine. He's getting hair and makeup ready right now. Okay, it looks like it's almost time to start filming again. As you can see, they let us get pretty close because in this scene, these are pretty tight shots on Chris's face. Hey, Chris! Great job, great job, great job. <laughs> Very good, great. Thank you for coming to Carmel. Thank you for having me in Carmel. Okay. Oh, that was pretty awesome. Not only did we get to see Chris Pine, get a little footage of them making a scene, we actually got to speak to Chris Pine very briefly. Now, I'm not sure if he was a little bit annoyed at us taking pictures or just goofing off, but it was cool that he responded to my question. And yeah, what a great time. We came down here with no itinerary, no idea of what would really happen, but that's the thing, we tried. I took two days off work thinking that I might be an extra, and I tried. When the movie comes out in about a year from now or so, I will come back down here and we'll match up some shots. If you guys could smash that like button, that would help out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, I'm Stanley Foss, and I'll see you in the future. Goodbye.